Hello, Miss R. Hello, Sam. Miss R, I know that you will ask me if I remember what vertical subtraction is and how to do subtraction with borrowing. So here it goes. Vertical subtraction is a technique in which numbers to be subtracted are written one under the other and place values used for subtraction. And I'll show you that I remember how to do subtraction with borrowing with the help of this example. 61 minus 18. We first write the first number, then the second number under it using place value. Then we write the minus sign before the second number and mark the area for answers. Starting from the ones place, we have 1 minus 8, but 1 is smaller than 8, so we will borrow 1 from the tens place where we have 6. So when 6 gives up 1, we will have 5 left there. And the ones place will actually get 10. And now in ones place we have 11 minus 8, which is 3. Then we move to the tens place, and here we have 5 minus 1, which is 4. This means that 61 minus 18 is 43. Very good, Sam. Miss R, can we try a three digit number, please? Of course, Sam. Let's solve 842 minus 356. First, we will write the first number, 842. Then under that, 356, our minus sign and mark the area for answer. And then we will start with the ones place. Now here we have 2 minus 6. Since 2 is smaller than 6, we will borrow 1 from the digit before it, which is 4. So. 4 gives away 1 to become 3 and the 1's place digit 2 gets 10. So now in 1's place we have 12 minus 6 which is 6 and then we go to the 10's place. In 10's place we have 3 minus 5. Now again 3 is smaller than 5. So 3 needs to borrow 1 from the digit before it, which is 8. Now, 8 also gives away 1 and becomes 7. Now, we know that 1 in 100's place is equal to 10 of 10's place. So, our 10's place digit 3 gets 10 and it becomes 13. Now, 13 minus 5 is 8 and then we will move to the hundreds digits. And here we have 7 minus 3, which is 4. Oh, this means that 842 minus 356 is 486. That's right, Sam. Miss R, I have one more question. What if the digit from which we need to borrow is 0? Very good question, Sam. Now let's see an example of that as well. Here we have 406 minus 127. As always, we write the first number 406 under that 127. Subtraction sign followed by marking the area for the answers. Now starting with 1's place, we have 6 minus 7. Now since 6 is smaller than 7, we will make it bigger by borrowing from the digit before it. But the digit before it is 0, as you rightly said. So how can 0 give anything to 6? Well, to do that, first it needs to borrow from the digit before it, which is 4. First, 4 will give away 1 and become 3, and 0 becomes 10. And now that it is 10, it can give away 1 to 6. And when it does that, it becomes 9. And as we know, 6 will get 10 to become 16. And now in 1's place, we have 16 minus 7, which is 9. Coming to 10's place, now we are left with 9 minus 2. 9 minus 2 is 7. And in 100's place, we have 3 minus 1, which is 2. So, 406 minus 127 is 
279. Wow, Miss R. That was amazing. Well, Sam, would you like to solve one? Oh, yes, I'm looking forward to that. Okay, so you can solve 615 minus 248. We will write 615 under that 248 minus sign and mark the area for answer. Now we start from the ones digits. 5 minus 8. Well, now 5 is smaller than 8, so it needs to become bigger by borrowing 1 from the digit before it, which is 1. 1 will give away 1 to become 0 and 5 becomes 15. Now, 15 minus 8 is 7. Then we come to 10's place. We have 0 minus 4 and 0 we know is smaller than 4. So, it will borrow from the digit before it, which is 6. So, 6 gives away 1 to become 5 and this 0 becomes 10. So now, in 10's place, we have 10 minus 4, which is 6. Now, we go to 100's place, 5 minus 2. 5 minus 2 is 3. So, 615 minus 248 is 367. Is that right? Yes, Sam. You are absolutely right. Well done. Wow, Miss R. Vertical subtraction is such a lot of fun. What are we going to study in the next lesson? Well, in the next lesson, we will be exploring the relationship between addition and subtraction. Oh, that sounds so cool. I look forward to that. Please like, share and subscribe.